Uh, as for drugs, well, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Okay, that about wraps up my introduction. Now, uh, are there any questions? All right, I want to talk about one of the biggest scams in this world. And listen, this is something I'm a complete hypocrite for because I actively partake in this scam often, even though I know how retarded it actually is. And I'm talking, of course, about drugs. Now, drugs can mean a lot of different things. There's a lot of different kinds of drugs out there. Uh, hold on, let me just crack open this beer real quick while I make this video. Okay, so I want to talk about like why drugs are a bad idea and why I'm slowly coming to this realization at the ripe old age of 26, okay? So I want to start with the least harmful drug and make my way up to the most harmful drug. So we're going to start with caffeine. Need more coffee. Why is caffeine a scam? Honestly, caffeine isn't that bad, okay? I drink coffee like every fucking morning. I basically need coffee to be anything resembling, you know, an alive human being to function, um, which I'm sure is relatable for a lot of people. I don't think caffeine's all that bad, although caffeine, you know, it, it can do some things that are mildly annoying. It can stain your teeth. It makes you crash out like after a few hours and then you're just fucking tired the rest of the day. So it's like, it's not the worst drug ever, but it's like, do you really need it? Like, there's plenty of other ways to get energy. It just seems kind of like pointless to me. Yet here I am fucking drinking coffee every morning. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put caffeine in the B tier of drugs, okay? It's really not that bad. All right, let's move on to weed. That got that looks like a, a quarter pounder, man. <laughs> let's up, Maybe care with that shit. Here's the thing about weed. I used to be an avid weed smoker. I used to smoke weed like multiple times a day every day. Okay, it was like I was crazy like pothead in the day. Okay, I've kind of settled down now mostly because I don't have all that much money to pay for it. But also because I've noticed something every time I smoke weed, right? I end up just getting a really bad panic attack slash like paranoia. <laughs> And then, um, you know, that's like the first hour, and then the second hour I just feel really calm and at peace, and I'm like, oh man, this is nice. So I always go back and buy more fucking weed just for that, the, the second hour, even though the first hour is so terrible. And I keep doing it, I'm like, why am I doing this? This is so fucking terrible. I don't know, weed makes you do a lot of stupid things, man, you know, like it makes you feel like everybody's out to get you in a way. I remember I was really high one day, and I'm like, I need to delete all the videos off my channel, somebody's gonna come kill me. Which, hey, you know what? Probably still gonna happen, but... Okay, next up, we're gonna go to psychedelics. Mm. Where are some golf shoes? Otherwise, we'll never get out of this place alive. Impossible to walk in this muck. Psychedelics are so funny to me, and this is coming from someone who used to be, like, a super, like, hippy-dippy, you know, spiritual-esque type of person. Um, what- think about what psychedelics are. <laughs> Like, I don't know, mushroom, salvia, whatever you can think about, right? What is it? It's a predator deterrent. It's literally something the plant, it's a chemical the plant produces to deter predators. And here we are, dumbass fucking humans, sitting here like recreationally taking this shit. Oh, let me just voluntarily induce schizophrenia for no good fucking reason. And I know multiple people that have induced schizophrenia in themselves just from taking psychedelics. I was talking to some guy the other day, and he was telling me he took like eight tabs one day and has to, had to be hospitalized. I'm like, what the fuck? How is this fun? <laughs> How is this fun at all? I don't understand. Yeah, so I don't take any psychedelics anymore. The, the, most, the most psychedelics I've ever had is like, I've had two tabs of acid in my whole life, and it was fine, I guess. Like, I was afraid to take any more than that because Jesus Christ, dude, I'm already prone to like mental illness. I don't want to make that shit worse. Psychedelics are a fucking scam, dude, okay? And, I, and you know what? I'm sick of all the uh, the spiritual shit attached to it, because I used to be like that, too. I'm like, oh, we're getting a, 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 a peek into a different realm. It's like, no, we're fucking not, dude. We're, it's literally just our brain producing fractals and hallucinations. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's nothing magical about psychedelics. It's literally just a fucking plant's, like, weapon arsenal. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Okay, um, alcohol. Alcohol is probably the biggest scam on planet Earth because it's the only drug that's like fully legalized Encouraged for everybody to take on like, you know in like social situations because it's so good for social situations 
if you're like a high inhibition person like I am, it'll completely, you will relinquish all of your anxiety. You will feel like you could conquer the world. You can act like an idiot in front of everybody and not care. It's fucking great, dude. I love alcohol. I'm drinking alcohol right now as I make this video. But it's so fucking terrible. Like you're literally, you're just ingesting poison. Like that's all it is. It's so bad. And it's just sold everywhere. I'm not going to say we should have a prohibition or anything, because we've seen how that turned out. I think all drugs should be legalized, to be honest with you. I think they should be legalized and regulated. But we'll see if that ever happens. But yeah, alcohol is no good, man. And I really need to stop drinking it myself. Okay, now we're going to talk about, like, hard drugs, okay? I don't know, cocaine, heroin. I'm just lumping these all together. Fucking ter- like, horrible. <laughs> Fucking terrible. If you're at the point where you're, you know, you're uh, smoking meth for fun, it's oh, it's absolutely over for you. I mean, you're cooked, dude. That's dude, fucking call it quits. Um, yeah, don't fuck with hard drugs. Don't ever fuck with hard drugs. Seriously, okay. And you know, I know it sounds cringy. Mm, drugs are bad, okay. But it's true. They're fucking terrible. They're so bad. I, you know, I can have some kind of nuanced take here and be like, oh, there's some good drugs, some bad drugs. You just gotta figure out. What works for you, blah, blah, blah. No, uh, you know, fuck that, dude. I'm going Chad mode, all right? All drugs are garbage. Fuck them all. They're all terrible equally. And that's my message, okay? Take it or leave it. But anyways, yeah, so uh, that's about it.